Hi fellow crafters! Today I'm excited to show you this super cool and relatively new fun fold card idea. It will definitely impress your special friends and family members and you can adapt it to suit any occasion that you need. I'm also going to be introducing a brand new bundle that only became available in March and it is only available online, which means that it will never appear in any of Stampin' Up's catalogs. You're going to definitely love this fun fold. If this is the first time that you're visiting my YouTube channel, hi, I'm Terry from nutsaboutstamping.com. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Speaking of videos, be sure to watch this video all the way through for my bonus tips and design ideas. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, I would love for you to choose me. I'll link to my online stores in the description box under this video. Now, let's get crafting. The main focal point on my Funfold card will be created using the brand new Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper. This is part of the new collection that I was telling you about. From elegant botanical designs, to beautiful color washes. This paper was hand drawn digitally to give it a natural artistic flair that will complement any project. And look at those designs. Very fun and you get so many sheets in a pack, you'll be crafting with it for months to come. I'm also going to be using the new Irresistible Blooms bundle, which also features gorgeous floral designs and sentiments in an elegant font. And there's some of the corresponding dies that goes with the stamp set. Before I show you how to create this unique fun fold, I want to get a few elements ready to add to my card. So I have got the hello image from the Irresistible Bloom stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it down using Pretty Peacock ink. Yes, you heard me correctly. Pretty pe Peacock, <laughs> I can't say it properly. Pretty Peacock is coming back into the next annual catalog. Stampin' Up! is doing a color refresh bringing back a couple of the old colors and introducing some new ones, which means that the current colors, some of them, will be going away. So grab your ink refills and cardstock of your favorite colors just in case, because once the announcement that they're going to retire happens, these products will fly off the shelf. Now, to die cut this out, I'm going to be using the All That dies. And I have this little oval die that fits perfectly around the hello image. And then I'm going to take one of the second dies or one of the other dies in the die pack and I'm going to die cut a layer that will go underneath this using So Saffron. So I'll go over to my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'll die cut these out and we'll move on to the next step. There we go, I have these die cut out and I am going to try and center the hello onto the So Saffron layer. And I used Stampin' Dimensionals so that it'll give a bit of lift off the layer underneath. Now, let's get going on this fun fold. My card base, which is actually going to be the fun fold itself, is basic white and you're going to need some kind of a scoring implement. The Simply Scored is perfect for this kind of project because there are several score lines that you're going to have to create. So let me talk you through them. The first score line is at three quarters of an inch. Then your second one is one and three quarters. Your third one is three and a quarter. Then we have seven and a half nine, and 10. And of course, these are all in inches. If you want the instructions in a metric system, you can email me or message me on, um, on YouTube and I will try and adapt it for you for your measurement system. So let me go back over this. 
three quarters of an inch, one and three quarters, three and a quarter, seven and a half, nine, and ten. And that's what you need for creating this fun fold. It's also handy if you have a bone folder because you want these folds to be nice and crisp. So as you can see, I've turned my card this way and I am going to, for the first fold, fold it in. For the second fold, I'm going to fold it back. And for my third fold, I'm going to fold it in. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. There we go. I have all of the score lines burnished. Now, the demonstrator that created this fun fold calls it the curtain call fun fold because the card is actually designed to stand up. So it's got like a stage and then it's got the curtains on the side. So again, you've got your stage and your curtains on the side. Now, let's use some of the Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper to decorate this card. I have chosen these three designs that I'm going to use on both sides of my fun fold. So I'm gonna start off by adhering this planer one there, and then I'm going to adhere this one with the lines and the little circles in it second, and then I've got this pattern that I'm going to do third, and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. I've got this pattern, this pattern, and this pattern. So I'm going to adhere all of these down using my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'll go ahead and do that, stop the video. When it's dry, I'll come back and we'll show you an additional piece that makes this a double fun fold. Back in a moment. This is not quite dry yet, so I'm going to set it aside for a few minutes. And we're gonna work on the second fun fold, which is so much easier. It's a piece of basic white cardstock that I have folded in half and then creased it there. And what I want to do with this one is I have another design in the Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper pack, and I'm going to attach it to the front of this fun fold. The next thing I want to do is bring in my phrase and I want to adhere it to the front of this fun fold piece. I'm going to keep it very simple because I love the design in the background on the designer series paper. So I'm just going to add this simple phrase and leave it at that. Now I want to add one additional element to the inside of this fun fold. And to do that, I am going to take this die from the Irresistible Blooms die pack and this sheet of designer series paper. And look at this. You can die cut out this trio of leaves. There's also a second die in the pack that you can use to die cut out the duo, I guess, set of leaves. But I want to use the trio, so I'll stop the video I'll die cut this out and then we'll attach it to the inside of the fun fold. And there we go. I've attached those leaves to the inside of this fun fold. Now, you might be wondering, all right, what does this fun fold have to do with the other fun fold? Well, let me show you that next. If you love fun fold card ideas as much as I do, why don't you watch this video next? Now I've got this fun fold, which is my card base, and I've got this fun fold, and it's actually going to be an insert that I'm going to attach to the base of my card. I'll do that, I'll come back, and then we'll talk embellishments. All right, this is taking shape. There we go, and this is what it looks like. Again, it's really hard to see on the video, but this is what it looks like when it stands up. Maybe I'll angle it a little bit so you can see it. And the beauty of this is that yes, it actually folds and you can put it in a regular size envelope and mail it like you normally do. So now for embellishments, as part of the 
Irresistible Blooms sort of collection, there are these loose frosted dots. And guess what? The colors in this, in this pack of embellishments matches the colors in the Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper. So what I'm gonna do is stop the video, attach a few of these cute little dots to my card and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. And there we go. The curtain call fun fold card idea is done and ready to mail to somebody special. If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I use, the measurements, the score lines, all the information that you need to make this card at home, I will link to my blog article in the description box under this video. And if you would like to order the Irresistible Blooms bundle or the Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper, I'll make sure that I include the product ordering numbers over on my blog article as well. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.